Good morning, folks. I was looking through some of my uh, trapping magazines here and come across some fur prices I thought were pretty interesting. And times have changed, but the prices haven't changed that much. So, take a look at some of these here. Back over a hundred years ago, they had a magazine that came out called Hunter Trader Trapper. And it was one of the best at the time, one of the only fur trapping magazines there was. And then it became Fur Fish Game magazine. Uh, it, before that, it was known as Harding's magazine, before even Hunter Trader Trapper. But I've got a small collection of them here. And the fur prices, back in 1928, compared to today's prices, I thought was kind of interesting, a little bit depressing even. Uh, let's compare some of these here. This one, this one is March of 19, uh, or 2018, I mean. It's the same magazine for a fish game, the modern version of it. Okay, 1928, mink price, $18. Uh, mink price today, $10. 1928 raccoon prices top dollars ten dollars I had trouble selling them this year um, let's see where's raccoon right there four to six dollars the very best might bring fifteen to twenty red fox thirty dollars for the best today's red fox for the best or fifteen to twenty five dollars but here's where it gets interesting. A silver fox, cross fox, gray fox, they're a little different type of fox, but uh, 25, 35, $10, 25, 30. Here are the prices in 1928 for comparable fox. Silver fox, $350. Black fox, $350. Cross fox, 100 white 60 20 125 kit fox were down to a dollar they weren't very much um, okay wild cat five dollars today they call them a lynx cat they're not a lynx they're just a bobcat the very best will give you a thousand dollars but that's misleading because most of them will sell on average more around 200 300 dollars uh, in 1928, wolves and coyotes were both called wolves. You had timber wolves, which sold for $25, and prairie wolves, which were coyotes, which sold for about $10. Today, I don't see them on here, but uh, today they're averaging about $50 to the very best of the gill for $100. Um, 1928 price for Martin, $50. Okay, 2018 price for Martin, 65 to $85, very best be $100. Uh, the ones around here, Rocky Mountain States, 18 to $25. Uh, let's see, did I say muskrats yet? Muskrats were bringing $1.70 in 1928. Today, they got this in big letters because they think this is a good price. Muskrats, three to five dollars. Uh, anyway, some of these beaver price. Let's go for that one. Beaver price, twenty-seven dollars fifty cents. Down here, beaver, ten dollars. You might get twenty-five to thirty for the very best. Otter price in nineteen twenty-eight, thirty-five dollars. Uh, 2018 price for otter. Okay, where are we at here? Otter, 40 to 60 dollars. I've already sold most of my furs this year. Uh, I sold four coyotes, got 200 dollars total, so that's 50 dollar average. I, I had one beaver is all I caught mainly for bait, 15 dollars. One raccoon the fur buyer didn't even want to buy, but he gave me three dollars. 
I had 35 muskrats, but two of them were ripped, and he only paid me for 33. I got $75 for 33 muskrats. That averages out to $2.27 in 2018, where in 1928 they would have brought almost that much money. So, this was my best ever, some glare off, my best ever trapping season. This was back in 2013-14 season. Uh, those furs brought me roughly $1,500 which I wasn't complaining, that's a fair amount of money, but can you imagine what $1,500 would have bought in 1928? Well, what this all boils down to is that you really kind of have to enjoy trapping because you're not going to get rich at it anymore. Back then, you could have made a decent living off of it, but now it's more of a hobby that you can hopefully make a few dollars at and have a good time. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'm sorry about the, <laughs> the rooster over there, and my turkeys over there. Actually, they're my wife's turkeys. They don't really know when to be quiet, I guess. Uh, this summer, we've got a beehive that we started beekeeping last year, and if you keep watching, I'll have some beekeeping videos this summer. But anyway, a little bit snowier and colder today. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.